Welcome back, guys, and today we are not in Forza, nor are we driving a massive off-road truck in SnowRunner. We've commandeered someone else's setup that I'm sure you can figure out by all of the surroundings whose setup I've stolen for the moment. But we're on Gran Turismo 7. This is my essentially very first time playing around with anything in Gran Turismo 7. So we're on a direct drive wheel setup. We've got a GR86 and I've done a couple of practice laps. Well, I have done a full practice race, but I don't think it's going to make me any better. So you'll see that momentarily, I'm sure. The only thing that we did do was we put a softer tire on this car, which as far as I can tell, definitely helped quite a bit. I mean, we were racing against Corvettes and Ferraris, which I'm not quite sure how this game's classing system works yet. Essentially, this is my first Gran Turismo game since GT4. So it's been a really, really, really long time. But without any more, like, out any more talking or blabbering or anything like that, we're going to dive into a couple of races with this car. I'm going to drive it stock, and then I'm also going to drive a modified one. And if I do okay in the stock one, then I'll hop into the modified one and we'll see how that goes. We are using the paddles this time because we were messing around with the shifter earlier and did a couple of weird things. I'm sure that's not the shifter's fault. That was probably me, but we are messing with the paddles this time instead. And I'm going to go ahead and head out to the world map. It's a little bit, forgive me if I don't fully understand how the menus work yet. I'm trying to get a little bit more familiar with how, you know, how the Gran Turismo setup works with everything. But I think we're going to head to Tsukuba Circuit first. We're going to run a race there. And I'm going to try to do it as cleanly as I can. It's a little bit tricky, especially... Well, it's a little bit tricky for me to keep it clean. I'm sure that there's going to be some people out there that are going to be like, I could keep that race 10 million times cleaner. Regardless, like I said, first Gran Turismo game since GT4. So there's definitely a bit of a, bit of a learning curve. I'm going to throw it on intermediate level and then hopefully work my way up a little bit later on throughout the video. So... Let's go ahead and dive right into the race, and I'm going to see what happens and hope that I can get on the podium. The podium is my goal. That's what I did in practice. And let's go. It's a little bit weird driving a, a GR86. I almost said GT86, but I'm not completely and totally used to the difference in naming just yet. There is an AMG GT Black Series in this race, but there's also a Celica GT4, and it doesn't make any sense at all as to how these cars are classed with each other. Again, I'm sure someone in the comments can explain why, but he's done a massive drift in front of me, and I don't know why he gave me all that extra positioning. I hit him. I'm sorry. I need to... Oh, he's back! He's very upset with me. He came back. Whoa! I've noticed that they get very aggressive with you in this game. Maybe, once again, maybe that's just me, but I'll go ahead and, like, smash into his back bumper one more time. I know I shouldn't be doing that. I should be being at least a little bit realistic here, but there's, see, he's using his AMG Black Series power again to get away from me. I don't know if I can catch up to him, even on a circuit as tight as Sukuba, but, and I know that I'm on the intermediate AI, but even then, I'm still a little sketched out as to how much faster he actually is than me on the straights. Let's see if I can dive into turn one, heavy on the brakes, I definitely need to get a little bit better at trail braking in this game, but at the same time, I'm not entirely used to the way the game's physics interact with the wheel. So, definitely, like, a big learning curve into... Wow, I dove in way too late on that apex. That was not clean whatsoever. Let's see if I can go a little bit outside. Whoa, try to tap the brakes and get the car to rotate a little bit. It didn't really want to, and then all of a sudden it did. I'm really surprised that I'm behind this thing right now, but at the same time, I'm sure it's the AI holding it back. Really? Okay. I'm sure he's gonna pass me. I'm sure if I look to my side... Oh! Is he really not gonna pass me? Oh, there he goes. Okay, never mind. Yep, it was only a matter of time until he actually just went for the pass. I'll try to get it to, once again, like, rotate on the brakes again. He braked a little bit. I went on the, on the grass slightly. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to do that. That's probably outside track limits. And I'm sure that all of the Gran Turismo enthusiasts are, like, heavily cringing at that pass decision right now. But, oh, we're trying to familiarize ourselves with it. Come on. I'm going to break just a tad early for this one so I can get the line a little bit better. 
see if I can get it to... I was trying to get it to rotate a little bit on throttle, and I'm trying to figure out, you know, where the threshold is for that. There it is! Found that one! Now I just need to learn how to make it, you know, balanced and clean with this game's physics system. Also trying to see the gear indicator up over the top of the wheel, because I'm short! Not bad, actually. <laughs> Not bad with the recovery. It was a little bit, like... I, would, I wouldn't say it was smooth, but we're getting there. And a little dab of the brakes. I wonder if I can keep it in fourth. I probably can. Oh, maybe not. Well, actually, with just a little bit of a lift, I was able to keep it in fourth through the final corner and actually able to win. I think I might, you know what? I'm going to do Laguna Seca because it's so incredibly recognizable. Let's do an arcade race for sure. I am not in any way, by the way, dude, that's awesome. A touring car 700. That's awesome. The fact that it's got an actual, like, 86 right there, right on the cover of it. That's so freaking cool. Can I have the inside? Maybe? Oh, God. This Abarth has cut me off majorly. Come on. That was probably way overcorrected because I took a second there to kind of, um, to kind of try to recalibrate what I was doing. And I was like, I need a correction. And then I, all I did was I unsettled the car. Oh, whoop, come on. That's gone really well. There we go. Don't worry about that. It was fine. It's just, it's, it's just my off-roading coming out. It's okay. Let me see if I can dive up the inside. It did not want to power rotate on that one. I guess nobody really ever realizes how steep this hill actually is. And so when you come up to it in a car like this, that doesn't have a ton of horsepower, you're like, why is it not power rotating? And then you're like, oh, look at the hill that I'm going up. The only way you would get it to rotate on throttle going up a hill that steep is if you carried way more momentum into it than I did. And, oh boy. And while I'm still learning the game and learning the physics system, uh, it's gonna be a minute before I'm carrying that level of momentum into an uphill corner like that. Can I go for fourth here? Oh God, it's sketchy. I almost went directly off the edge. I don't know if it will have come across in the video, but that, like, at least it felt and seemed... Oh, I always... Oh, my God. Yeah, that's what happens when you forget exactly where the final corner of Laguna Seca goes. All right, let me remind my brain where I'm at and then not actually go completely off the track on the final corner. Let's see if we can get it right on this second lap. I'm not even going to try to focus on catching the guy in front. I just want to actually get a properly clean lap. I braked actually probably too early for that. Come on. There we go. It's starting to get a little bit better. It's starting to it's starting to feel better. It's starting to feel a little bit more consistent. Oh, there's actually a little bit of a like, little bit of a brake initiated rotation that we maintained on throttle. That was awesome. <laughs> Oh, okay, this is actually starting to get really, really fun now. Especially with this car. And whenever I'm using, like... Oh, come on. I probably didn't need to slow down that much. Come on, let's go. Up the hill. The AMG Black Series is just going to pull away. It's... it's. There's no reason for it not to. Oh, I need to get better at that. Oh, I hit the curb hard. It jumped out a little bit on me, but, like, the only thing you can really do in that situation is stay flat. Let's see if I can make just a little bit. Oh my god, I am... Sorry. Hard on the brakes. I was hard on the brakes anyway. I feel so bad about, like, some of these situations where I've ended up in the back of some of these other cars. Dude, he really was gonna drive me to the edge of the track. I was really trying to give him room, and he was like, Nah, dude, you're going to the edge of the track. Like, this is not gonna be your day. And I'm like, okay, fair enough, I guess. Is it bad to go down to first there? I don't know. I felt like it was necessary-ish, but maybe I shouldn't have gone down to first there. Maybe that was fine. I don't know. But either way, we still managed to get across the line. So let's go grab the modified one and see how much different that actually is. Now, I think it's about 400 horsepower, but we'll see. I want to say it's like 430, maybe 420, 430 horsepower. So we'll do a time trial. I'm not going to do a drift trial. I'm going to do a time trial and we'll do daytime and we'll see 
how this, not only how it goes, but how it feels, especially considering that we've done a couple of events in the normal GR86. This one sounds a lot angrier. I'm understeering a lot. Oh, I'm oversteering a lot. Okay. Jeez. This one's different. Oh, dude. All right. This one's a lot different. I'm going to have to get used to the fact that, like, not only the power delivery is going to be very different, but, like, oh, my God. This understeers a lot. I mean, I was even trying to get it to do a power oversteer back there in the middle of the corner, and it was almost like it didn't want to. It just wanted to continue to understeer. I also have to keep looking up to check and see if, I've, uh, if I'm in the right gear because short person problems. I should probably be trying to use this turbo torque but like it doesn't, ooh, this is, this is ridiculous. Come on, there it goes. Okay, once it actually, once it actually spools up, it's like, it's got a ton of power, but getting it there is like tricky. There we go. All right, let's try to do a properly clean lap in this thing. At least one. I'm sure that that braking was way too early. It's interesting, this one actually, you can drive it a little bit on and off the limit more, but at the same time, you don't quite hang on to the limit as well as in the stock one. It's always kind of one of those, like, trade-off things, but it's actually kind of smooth. You can do little slides. That's actually really, really fun. Whoop! That wasn't, uh, that wasn't planned or expected. But you can definitely rotate it with the throttle a lot. All right, give it a bit of brakes. There we go. It's a little iffy, but <laughs> it slides around pretty readily. All right, there's second. I'm just gonna do first for this one because it seemed to like it better on the other one when I did first. So my lines are all over the place, but at the very least, like I'm having a lot of fun and throwing the car around a lot. And it's actually really enjoyable and really fun to drive. Right, let's see. Can I go up to third? Will it will it let me? Will it be okay with that? It's actually got just a little bit of turbo sound. I love that. All right, one more proper lap. Oh, there's the rotation. All right. I'm almost like I'm just watching the rotation that the ghost does. That's awesome. Oh, that was where... <laughs> It's definitely, like, something that moves around on you a lot. You can see how much, like, the ghost car is stepping out and walking around. All right, let's try and ease it on through here. There we go. On it a bit. I've touched grass. I don't know how I can... Actually, that wasn't as bad of a recovery as I thought it was going to be. If I could have recovered that earlier, it would have been fine. Dude, those... Okay, those angles do not look as good from inside the car. The fact that I could see that happening on the ghost car, that makes me want to just slide around a bunch more. Although I do want my clean lap. Come on. I might actually be able to... Okay, the fact that I almost beat the ghost while also going into the grass makes me want to do this one more time and see if I can... I went way too wide. See if I can sort this out. There we go. If I drive like a bit less of a hooligan, my time will be a lot better, but the lap isn't going to be as fun. Come on. That was a big snap. I think that was self-inflicted, though. There we go. I'm sure this would look great in third-person view, but it doesn't really look great here. Easy. See, that looks so good. I wish I could replicate that in a way that would actually be fast. All right, this will be my final lap, and we'll see what kind of a run I can get at the last corner. Come on. Almost there. And third. I'm just going to leave it in third. Leaving it in third is probably much better. I'm rotating it a little bit. <laughs> 
And I think we actually did slightly better that time. Slightly. But I think we're gonna go back to the main menu. Wow, alright, so... As far as my initial experience of messing around with Gran Turismo 7, especially between like a stock GR86 and a heavily modified one, that was a blast. And like, of course, let me know in the comment section down below how terrible you guys thought I was at the game. But either way, I had a blast getting into it and it definitely makes me want to dive into it a lot deeper. But yeah, let me know once again your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.